Jackie, you need to consider other people's feelings. Okay, I'm lost. You made yourself a cup of tea. Why don't you make me any? What is your partner's least favorite food? Really? You don't know? I told her this two days ago. You don't listen. If you listened, you would know what my least favorite food is. Why are we making this sound like a matter of life and death? Maybe if you weren't so selfish. Selfish? Yes, then you'd realize that I'm the only one putting any effort in this relationship. My son's not interested in wasting time. And you look like you're out of time. Things between me and Frida aren't going very well. And the more we fight, the more, the more I regret leaving you. It's Thomas. Oh, we're back to that again. He kind of, kind of used the word love in my presence. This order says two breakfasts to my husband's address. Madam, I only do as I'm told. Don't make me ask you again. There was a woman who answered the door. If I agree to go for counseling and we finish the run and it doesn't work. It will work. And it doesn't work. We are done. What is a normal relationship? What? I'm reading this confession of this girl who broke up with a guy because she wanted a normal relationship. So I'm like, what's that? The three C's. The who? The three C's. Compromise. Caring. He had met compromise. That is like the smartest thing you've ever said. Third C? Hmm. <laughs> cooking. The third C is cooking. Men love to be cooked for. I would have thought you've talked about the other C. Cookie, because I think guys like the cookie more than they like cooking. <laughs> <laughs> In other news, you know, David and I um, got, are going to have our first counselling session tonight. Oh, well, that's great news, Carol. Yeah, that's really good. I'm glad you guys are working things out. I know. Me too. No, I even wore one of the dresses he bought me. What do you guys think? It's gorgeous. <laughs> and more importantly, you know, it's a sign of his love for you. Okay, it doesn't begin with C, but kindness is also very important. Very important. I'm kind. I'm caring. <clears throat> uh -huh. You are, Jackie. Of course you are. You know what? You just wait and see. I am going to make this relationship work. Of course you are. How to find a husband. you might find how to find a husband I told you about the counseling You knew I was going. I know what this looks like, David. You're going back to her. No, I'm not. I don't believe you, David. I, I don't understand you, Sylvia. No! No, you don't. I mean, there's nothing contradictory about you wearing that and saying what you just said. This, this means everything, David.
Hold out your hand. What? Do as I say. Hold out your hand, please. And I mean, he is so particular about his tea. It's very OCD and completely unhealthy. <clears throat> tea? No, you're not listening to me. I am. You're just being sarcastic. Uh, no, no, I mean, you guys have to figure out how to live together. And it seems you're worse at it than he is. You know what? You've got a cold, so you're just a bit irritable. I'm irritable? But I haven't shed any brain cells or lost my famous insights. So what's that in your tea? Herbal tea. Oh, like amma? Like herbal tea. Cranky much? And to think I was taking pity on you at the risk of catching a cold. Oh, your kindness knows no bounds. I will be forever grateful. You're welcome, dear. <laughs> then please listen to my advice and stick it out with Robert. Not making tea for him while you're making yours is going to be the least of things you guys have to figure out as a couple. You care to elaborate, kind sir? Well, for starters, have some chamomile in your house. Now that way, when he comes over or stays over, you know, he knows he can get it. <gasps> Nelson! <laughs> Are you saying that? I'm saying that you're a very thoughtful person. You just have to remember that in a relationship context. Now you sound like Abigail. No, I don't. I am thoughtful. In fact, instead of you listening to my long stories, you should be in bed with a blanket over your head, having chicken soup or <laughs> something. Do you have some mucus in here? <laughs> Hi, Abby. Excuse me. What are you? I wanted to see you. Just to find out how, you know. What happened shouldn't have happened. I know it was just a kiss, but no, it was a mistake. I'm with Nelson now. I can't handle the guilt. Is that your only reason? Guilt? You and I need to stop pretending, Abby. We both know what this is, what we want. Take it. I will end things with Frida. You break up with Nelson. No, not like this. Before we begin, I'd just like to outline how the three of us are going to go about this. I mean, the process. Yes. So, there are three stages to the way I do my work. The first is a thorough assessment of your strengths and weaknesses as a couple. The second has to do with your needs, as identified in stage one. Now, we'll be doing individual sessions as well as couple sessions. Are we okay with that? I understand. David? Um, no. You're very easy to understand, uh, Miss... Call me Magda. I haven't been Miss in ten years now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, yes, Magda. We follow you. Good, I'm pleased. 
Now the third session is the hardest and the last. In this session, we'll create a shared vision for the both of you for your marriage and figure out a way to work to achieve that goal, okay? Hey, handsome. Oh, I'm just, I mean, this report from Mr. Aubrey is killing me. I brought you lunch. Lunch? Isn't that what dutiful women are supposed to do for their men? Yeah. Did you make this? No, I didn't, but I will. It's a lot. We should probably eat it together. I'd love to, but I have a one o'clock, I have a two o'clock, I have a four o'clock, but I'll be done by five latest. Okay. So you enjoy your meal, and it's a taste of good things to come. Thank you. Hmm. A little treat for you, handsome. Don't eat it all at once. Love, XOXO. Jackie. Now, David, I'm going to ask you first. Are you asking me first because I'm a man? No. Uh, then why? David, she hasn't even asked you the question and you're already interrogating her. David, maybe you'd like to elaborate on what you mean. I just find it curious. Would you prefer it if Carol went first? Fine, either way. Carol, do you want to go first? Um, yeah, sure. Okay, um, tell me, what do you want to happen today? I would like us to talk. No, we don't talk. No, we don't really talk and listen. And I would like us to start that. What about you, David? What do you want to get out of this session? Clarity. What about? A marriage. And the end goal of the therapy. Let's talk about that. Uh, I think Carol... But I'm asking you, David. I want a functioning marriage. Carol? I want David and I to be in love and married. I feel like we're in a marriage, but it's like we've lost our way. And I want us to be whole. Why now? What do you mean? Why not last week? Why not last month? What kind of a question is this? David, it's a valid question. One that you'll have to answer as well, Carol. David and Carol, let me just take a moment to remind you all to be respectful of each other's speech. Let your partners finish. David? You still don't like that question. Nonetheless, I think it's important that you answer it. I think it's too early in the process to ask that question. What about you, Carol? I think you ought to ask him again. He means it's too late. You're the best. <clears throat> I can't believe you left work to take care of me. Oh, my poor baby. I can't believe this cold is making you so miserable. They do that, you know. <laughs> My silly man. I know. That's why I'm here. I love you so much right now. What did you say? I love you. Oh. 
I'm in love with you. That is really, really nice. Carol, if you could change one thing about your relationship, what would it be? Secrets. No, we've kept too many and it's, it's wrong. It's dangerous. David? Hypocrisy. Saying one thing and doing another. The cousin of lying. Faking a whole lot of emotions. If that's not in the Guinness Book of World Records, it ought to be. The most convincing faker. Okay, let's take a moment to absorb what we've just heard. Observe our reactions first calmly. Kind of like a TV screen. The TV in your mind. I don't see the point in all of this. You will. But for now, I want you to make a habit of doing this, making your observations a part of your reactions. What is it, Carol, about what he says that makes you upset or happy? Let's start with that. Upset? A million things. But happy? Happy is just the way he is confident, considerate, brilliant. Except when he isn't. When he is a complete idiot. <laughs> I was wondering how long it would take before you stopped pretending. I am not pretending. I am being honest, and that is what you do when you're in therapy. Or is this just a game to you, David? I am here to make our marriage work. You... Why are you here? Thank you. You're welcome, Bobby Wabby. What? Don't pretend like you don't like pet names. Boo 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 boo. <laughs> um. <laughs> right? Bobby kids. You know, a little bit, but. What's wrong with Bobby Wobby? <laughs> it's, uh. Boo 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 boo. Bobby kids. Okay, who are you and what have you done with the old Jackie? It's me, Robert. The new me. Super girlfriend. Okay, I'm not very good with the little superhero names, but I was thinking we could sit down and talk about it and come up with really cool names. A new you? Yes. Okay, why does it have to be a new you? I like the old you a lot. This you is odd. Odd? Odd. Listen. I want the old Jackie back. Yeah, this is designed to give you the simplest representation of your basic characteristics. And? And what? And you're supposed to say it back to me. Unless I've scared you. No, no, you haven't. You haven't scared me. Then why do I feel like you're not even here? I'm here. Okay, um, let me ask you this then. Have you ever told someone that you love them? <laughs> Why do I feel like your next question is how many men have I slept with? How many? You see? <laughs> I wasn't serious. You were. You're just <sighs> pretending. If this would have been any other occasion, you'd have been 10% correct. <laughs> but you still haven't answered my question. About? Have you ever told someone that you love them? Yes. One person. I don't have to guess who that is. It's a... Uh... It's Thomas, isn't it? Yes.
Carol, earlier I described the different kinds of affairs that they are. I wanted to know, which do you think you had? A split self. I mean, I couldn't be myself in my marriage. I am, but sometimes I feel like parts of me are dying and they just want to be out there, alive. And I must ask you, David, have you ever considered having an affair? He's not just considered it. I can answer for myself, Carol. Thank you very much. I have a mistress, and I have no intention of leaving her anytime soon. I can't say why I have one, but I do. And I don't have an intellectual answer if that's what you're looking for. You know, the designs that you created on the sand tray say a lot about who you are. You know, strengths, fears, challenges. For example, you two are highly organized individuals who crave structure in your lives. Is that why David has both a wife and a mistress? Maybe a girlfriend even? David, does this end with Sylvia or is this just the beginning? What I don't know is why Carol would choose to give up her marriage on a chef of all the people. A chef who turned out to be a common thief. There is nothing common about me. And you would know that if you are not so self-involved. What I know is that even after deciding I want a divorce, here I am. What does that tell you, Carol? That he's confused or a coward. If he wants a divorce, he can get a divorce today. Instead of this charade. Carol, do you sincerely believe that the two of you being here together is a charade, as you put it? No. And David, hearing what she has to say, do you still want to continue with therapy? There's no harm in trying. That is so insincere. You know what? You should go. I did not just say it for the sake of saying it, okay? I mean, after, after all we've been through, with, with, with all the hurt, this, this really cannot hurt. That's what I meant. You know, you're both perfectionists. That's another thing that the Santry showed us. You like everything to be perfect, down to the last detail. Now, marital harmony has a lot to do with the drive for perfection, but it also has to do with mutual understanding, you know, the push and pull between the different but complementary personalities. Now, to get to the end of this process successfully, we must harness that trait as a unit for each other, for your marriage. How? Before I answer that, Carol, I'd like to ask David one more question. Why? because you have a mistress and you said you didn't want to let her go. Do you love your wife? David, do you love Carol? I don't know. <laughs>